Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of Morgana in the jungle. She's heavily overlooked because she's traditionally a support, but a long time ago she got a lot of extra damage against jungle monsters, primarily on her W, letting her chow down on them extremely quickly. On top of that, her passive does give her bonus healing against monsters as well. Large minions, monsters, and champions, so... She can clear her jungle fairly healthy and very quickly. Leashless, you can run about a 320 full clear full HP, so pretty solid. On top of that, Morgana has percent base damage in her kit, which is always nice, so you can shred through tanks on her W. It happens to be missing health percent base damage, which is a form of percent based max health damage. On top of that, your best items are going to be Leandre's Rush into Demonic than Zhonya's. You can get go Zhonya's second item, but usually you need that more for uh, team fights than you need it for ganks. We took free boots for the extra movement seed. We have Dark Harvest. Cheap Shot, Eyeball, Relentless, Free Boots with the Cosmic, Double AP, and Armor. Up against a Kane, your worst matchup on Morgana, I think, is Kindred. You can never hit your Snare on Champion like Kindred, and on top of that, since Kindred's ranged, uh, she's just super challenging to deal with. Whenever you hit a Champion, Large Minion, or Monster, it puts your W on a very, very short cooldown. That's why you can see I can actually double stack it, but it doesn't do any extra damage, so... If you're using your W before it's done finish, you're not actually getting any extra damage out of it. You're just kind of working around the cooldown a bit. It's important that you pay attention to your W cooldown. It's very, very long unless you have it on a large minion, large monster or champion. So you don't want to... You don't want to take the camp in a way to where you're killing the large monster while your W is still on pretty much full cooldown. Uh, I thought he was going to juke the other way. I think he took my red buff. I'm going to go invade his jungle then. So yeah, that can happen. We have our Q though, so we'll be fine. Almost took a turret shot for that. It's annoying. Diego mid has a lot of carry potential. A lot of people don't expect it. We have double points in our W to be able to clear faster. Should be able to deal with this king. He's only level 2. He tried to cheese our jungle, so... He doesn't really have a whole lot at the moment. Yeah, we should be able to deal with him. Where's the stun? Alright, his flash is on a cooldown at least. So we should be able to take this. We'll pull it into the bush. W will put it on a very short cooldown. He doesn't have vision. He's only level 2. Nar gets first blood. That's not really ideal. I assume Kane backed. I mean, he can stay. But he doesn't have vision. So. There's a good chance he didn't. So yeah, he actually didn't stay. We're level 4 now. Sweet. Pick up a point in Black Shield. So we can't get slowed or hard CC'd. Their team doesn't have a whole lot of that. It's mainly out of their bot lane running the Seraphine Yumi. Seraphine's kind of busted right now. We'll look for double Scuttle Crab. Morgana does farm extremely healthy. It's not easy for an enemy to get kill on you, the enemy jungler. I put that on him because Zed does have a slow in his kit. Oh yeah, Zed's being a nuisance. It looks like they just got the uh, scuttle crab bots. I just disappeared. We're putting a lot of pressure on the Zed. We're not getting a whole lot out of it though. We're kind of just pushing him off CS as we cross through. Kane made this game a bit m messier than I was intending on it being. So your W, like we said, it puts it on a much lower cooldown when you're hitting a large monster. It counts the medium ones as well. So. You can take golems quite comfortably on Morgana. I wouldn't want to W the rest of this camp though since it's just the tiny ones and I don't want to put my W on its maximum cooldown. So we'll save it for the raptors, try to keep the big one inside. Pull them back inside. Hit it with a W snare. And the rest should kind of just burn out. You don't really have to recall on Morgana since you farm so healthy. You can stick around till you're level six similar to a fiddlesticks. Let's you pressure the map more. Let's stick around. 
Since your W does a lot of missing health damage, you'll notice it clears the camps much faster once they're below half health. Looks like Kane hasn't really backed either here. His raptors are up. We're out CSing him. We're gonna farm so fast. We're gonna look for the uh, raptor camp there. Uh, I guess we could go for this little butthole. Darius is out of mana. Got him with a QW. Darius just needs to keep moving. Down he goes. We're gonna wanna shove this way before we leave. Oh, we put our W on the cannon minion and then right when we did that, it moved forward. It kinda sucks. Darius just needs to hit the minions. We need to get this shoved. We're level six, I would like to spend my gold. If we had a gank, I would go gank with R, but we don't. Closest thing to mid lane, but Zed's full HP. My mid laner is backing with low HP, so I'd be pretty pointless. We'll go ahead, pick up a Dark Sill, and buy more of this item. All right, we're pretty stacked. We'll look for, uh, I guess, our blue buff here, then we'll go for our red buff. Or I could just shoot straight out for Scuttle, play for red buff. It's a bit of a coin flip which camp he's going to go to. He can't solo us, and he's behind us. Him invading us would be kind of bad for him. Even if he gets my blue, I'll get my red plus scuttle. I think this is the right choice. Most likely be over here. Zed may be over here as well. Zed is over here. Looks like Ash made a escape. I have my R. I'm assuming Zed R on a cooldown. This bush isn't worded either. Yeah, he's screwed. He's so screwed. QWR. Got the black shield on him. Oh, I actually just missed everything. Ghost is so strong, though, for real. She must have Nimbus because she went so fast there. I tried to flash Q into her. Yumi sped her up. She ghosted herself. Probably has Nimbus. We couldn't keep up at all there. Our top side's vulnerable to getting taken at the moment. We gotta head over there right now. You can take red and wraps at the same time. It's kind of inconsistent though, because you have to pull the red buff pretty perfectly. It's so here we actually pulled it off. It's not super consistent. I definitely wouldn't recommend this in your first clear out. Because if you do it and you mess it up, you're gonna delay your level four, you're gonna delay your full clear which is bad you're gonna delay your ganks you're gonna ruin the game for yourself if you don't know what you're doing when you go to try that so wouldn't recommend it unless you've practiced it a lot our r's on a cooldown so we don't necessarily have to look for a gank if we had our r we definitely killed the seraphine there or landed snare obviously but the r is not a skill shot and it's a big slow so your r kind of makes it easy to land your q only reason I led him with Q against Zed was he didn't know I was there because I was on a bush, so. Against Zed, it just made sense to lead in with Snare there. We got two Relentless Hunters, one on Gnar, one on Zed. Helping to get us around the map. Got it. Yeah, he took some damage for that. Plus, I got his big Raptor. Diego's tearing him up a bit. That's kind of big. I haven't spent all my gold as part of the issue here. I'm down to gank top. I already see where he laid his ward. Question is, was I on, was I on a ward from Zed? I don't know the answer to that. Got him. Nice. I could pressure him with my W, and since we have Dark Harvest, he can't stand on that for very long. Plus, your W does more damage, lower on health they are. Gonna go for the Q Max second. It gets a longer root duration, higher damage. This isn't worded, I don't think. A minion might have just seen me, though. Got it. Got him with an auto attack. Down he goes. I want to get a Dark Harvest off of him. He's waiting to use his dash. Oh, you're so dead. That's unfortunate for him. He's not very fast, and I also have free boots, so I'm faster. That's really unfortunate for him. 
wouldn't mind taking these at the same time. I can't believe the minions are running past me and I'm literally attacking them. That's kind of absurd. They're literally running away from me. What the heck? When I'm right here. Might be able to cut Gnar off. I don't know what this Krug's doing, bro. Got him with our blue smite. Got red buff autos on him. He's on W pool. He realizes he's dead. Since Darius popped ghost, there's no way for Nar to get away. Plus, he was slowed by our like red buff autos and blue smite. He was screwed. He had to just give up three or four waves. His jungler and him can't even match me and Darius unless Nar's already in big form. But Darius has played it. I'm more fed than Kane. So Nar basically just had to roam, give up turret and four waves there. Unlucky for him. We'll push for Sork Shoes and just try to stay alive. We have a decent amount of CS, a lot of KP. Uh, our bot lane is solo dying a lot, which sucks. One good snare on Seraphine and she'll die. They really should nerf Ghost for range champs, though. We're starting to see a lot of bot laners running it better than pretty much anything else. Lower cooldown than the Flash as well. Much better value in team fights on top of that the extensions from kills and assists don't really know why my bot lane's pushing here i need them to scan this area i might just flash r her if she gets close enough oh i got rooted that sucks i don't really know if, i don't think that was really worth it that wasn't really worth it. Plus, they got Dragon. We got CC for too long. I should have just Black Shielded myself. That was kind of my bad. Give me Dark Harvest Stack, boy. Sitting on a lot of Mesh right now. I mean, a lot of Dark Seal as well. So, we're in a good spot. Red buff up in 28. I would back for Mesh if I could afford it. Don't really know where Zed is. I assume he's dead or reset. Otherwise, we're going to die here, and that's going to suck. Since Viego's missing a chunk of health, I just assumed Zed wasn't roaming, because he would be low health as well. So Viego's more fed than him. Red buff's coming up. Don't mind if I do. Need to get nice and close to Seraphine and Black Shield herself early. She has so much CC. She has a snare and a charm, and Yumi has her stuff. Zed might be coming for us, not realizing we're healthy. So, yeah, we're not going to really face check a bush here without R. Their bot lane backed up there, too, while Zed was missing. So, got out the snare. Oh, that's a shame that it has a bad black shield, too, from me. Why is this chick so fast, though? Oh, she's so screwed. Stun and the snare. Morgana has the best follow-up CC in League of Legends. It's a low cooldown, giga high root duration. Two and a half seconds already. It starts out at two seconds, which is very high starting out at. Oh, I really wish she would have given that to me. I could get better value out of it. Oh, well. Just pinging. I'm on my way here. Yumi might wait for the Seraphine. If she doesn't, she's dead. Even if they come together, we could honestly kill them both. Just trying to find a good spot in this bush to snare them from. I need my teammates to kill these minions so our minions can climb up and attack. 1QW, we'll eat ourselves, hit them with R, blue smite, our snare, and everything will hold them inside. Yeah, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh, that's some good damage. That is some real nice damage right there. I need Zerath to land one. Yumi stayed long enough on my W by trying to juke. She died from pretty much just our W alone there. Morg's so much fun. Oh, they quit. <laughs> we made them quit. 
All right, we'll go ahead and do a part two. Morg's an absolute blast to play. One of the better off meta junglers for sure. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two, because part one was just too gosh darn short. Wow, look at those moves. Why would you ever need to buy a skin on Morgana when her base skin looks this good? Anyways, we have the same exact setup for runes, Dark Harvest, with Cheap Shot, Eyeballs, Relentless. You could go for Treasure Hunter. That rune kind of annoys me, though. We have magical footwork, cosmic with double AP and an armor. We tell our teammates, no leash, just keep watch. And sure enough, they all pretty much do. Like, shouldn't be left a little early. It's not the end of the world. So, uh, yeah, you don't need leash on Morg, especially if you're going to do uh, blue into Gromp. It doesn't help you at all because Gromp spawns in after the blue. You can take them at the same time. It literally doesn't speed it up at all. You might take slightly less damage, but it's not worth it. So, uh, yeah. We don't want the leash. It doesn't do us any good. Plus, it lets the enemies know where we start. You could always solo start on wraps, wolves, or even on a buff, just because Morgana does farm so healthy with her W. You can still kite your camp around a little bit on your W. Just don't get too crazy with it. Because if you end up kiting it off of the W, like it's not standing on it anymore, then that'll be bad for you. You should go ahead and hit a refill once you start tanking both of them. Or even before then. Because you don't want to get yourself killed. I like to focus down the blue buff and then finish the Gromp. Gromp peels you more the lore on HP you are as well, so. Hit him with our Q immediately. And we let our W do the work. Here we're gonna place it, we want the big one to stay. Hit him with the Q. And we're gonna keep kiting him over to where we want them to go. Just like so. And we'll let him burn out there. Sometimes taking an extra auto is fine if you're going to keep him inside to get your W on the lower cooldown. Go ahead and take our Raptors. I don't really want to take the red and wraps at the same time here. As tempting as it is. Uh, see, we killed the big wrap too early there. So we didn't get our W off of cooldown. So we just lost like five seconds of W essentially. So if you always have a large monster, minion, or champion on your W, it's essentially a zero second cooldown. I'm gonna snare him on top. And we're gonna save our smite for the big Krug. The big Krug does a lot of damage. And we want to uh, take this camp as fast as possible here. Once you already have the monster low on health, it's easy to take it with your W since it does a lot of mix missing health damage. So it's more efficient to kind of use your smite to get it there. We just did a pre-320 leashless full clear, full HP. Very nice. We'll go ahead and get a point in our E because we're up against Mord. I'm just trying to steal the scuttle from him. He popped his ghost. He got scared. We could kill Mundo or at least freeze this wave. So they're all pretty scared. We got Mord ghost. We saved the wave from crashing on Trin. It's really, really good. Go ahead and reset. First item back. Usually looking for a Dark Sill and an Amp Tome. We'll go ahead and buy a Control Word as well. The only potential downside to this build is if you get no kills for a long time, you'll be slow because the Relentless Hunter won't have proper stacks and then you won't get your free boots very early. I decided to take Ghost this time. I think Ghost is fine on her. I wanted to get some limit testing with it. Flash is always good. You can go for Exhaust or Ignite as well. But generally... It's usually flash. <laughs> flash is solid. We'll smite it early to get our bonus damage from our W since it'll be missing more health. Keep pulling it out. Get our red buff autos on it. There, down it goes. Ah, oh, geez, more, more got both scuttles. That really sucks. I would have liked to have gotten one there. Oh, well. Can't have it all, I suppose. I'm hoping this wasn't worded. Alright, I guess we're not going to find her anyways. It is what it is. Oh, cool. So it is warded. Dang. Missed our snare. We should have just taken our time with it. Draven really wasn't that scary. These ganks aren't panning out so far. This is going to be a slower paced game, I can tell. All he has is Vampiric. That's not a scary item at all. We're going to ghost him down. 
Get as close as we can. Auto attack into the Q, then W. Somehow Senna. So I don't know how that's possible, but she missed her snare on a snared target there. It's hilarious. I want as much of this XP as I can since we spent a lot of time for this. I don't need the gold. I just need to share the XP. And now my teammates can back, get all their HP, get all their mana since they're low. They won't want to stay when Draven has a big gold spent advantage. Or we'll just help them out a lot there. Look for another Amp Tome, get our health and mana back, and we'll continue to flow clear down towards our blue buff. Hopefully more didn't take all my camps. He's had kind of good luck so far in terms of uh, his top lane got that solo kill. I guess we did get his ghost, so that was just a good decision on his part because he couldn't fight us. This isn't a good matchup for more jungle. More jungle performs very well against melee junglers, but against range junglers that can kite him out, it's not really good. Get him with an auto attack and a QW. He's a goner. That was a great, great play by uh, the Trindomere there. Baited him out super hard. Luckily, my black shield was up, and we were able to keep him alive there. We'll smite it early to get that W bonus damage. Once again, medium Krugs count as a large monster, so it puts your W on a very shortened cooldown whenever you're damaging with it. Mundo might step up for the word here. I don't know. We can't really snare him, so Mundo's a... I don't want to say a counter to Morgana, but uh, it can be hard to deal with at times for sure. We'll look for Scuttle and then continue our full clear. I want the gold. QW. Try to push away from this area. I don't want uh, more to come out. And you see our W's on a long cooldown since we didn't get off full duration there. So now we're going to have to wait a moment. Auto attack Q. Closer you are to anything, particularly champions, easier to land Q is. They have less time to dodge it before it hits them. It's like if you're going to get attacked by someone, the closer you are to them, the easier it is for them to attack you. Or you can have an appropriate reaction or counter strike. Skill shots in League of Legends in a nutshell. Close the distance, and then they die. Down goes the wolf. We'll take blue drop same time. Our R is up, so we'll be looking to use that here in a moment. They might come to try to kill me. I have blue smite though, so I could take these pretty quick. Super low on mana here. You get it back really fast in the being in the jungle and having low mana, but still. All right, our ghost is up. We'll be able to black shield ourselves and just run in. Oh, this isn't even warded. Draven just killed himself. He doesn't even realize it. We hit him with a uh, R to slow him. Then we can hit him with a uh, Q for free since he won't be able to juke. So R, Q, W. And they all die. Of course, I eat myself with Black Shield. I think Morg with Ghost might actually be better. Especially for the gank phase of the game. Maybe for team fights, it won't be quite as good. But uh, it feels really nice just being able to run them down before the laners have purchased tier 2 boots. All we're still quite fast. Like some help with this dragon. I don't know if Mord's going to show up. This dragon isn't easy to get away from either because his auto's slow. Go ahead and use one of our smites on it. Cool. Jace is going to lead them right into my dragon. I'd prefer if he didn't do that. Meth barely survives. She tries to steal the last hit from me, but we still get it. Very nice. Our R is on cooldown, so I don't necessarily want a big fight, but... Oh, we landed our snare. Cool. We'll be able to flip around this. There's no Krugs. We have all... We don't have R, but we do have, like, Blue Smite too. Draven's still just Vampiric with Conk, so he's not that strong. Jan is way out of position. She has nowhere to go. She's completely pinched. Draven doesn't have enough damage to really threaten a kill on me. He gives us a Dark Harvest stack. Don't mind if I do, Draven. Very kind of him. He thinks he can kill me, but he can't. Oh, we actually hit him there. Sick. 
Yeah, his movement speed's pretty. Oh, he even has tier twos when he landed that. All right, I'm impressed. Our R's up, but uh, we're sitting on a lot of gold. Sitting on a full item purchase here. Might as well reset. We'll look for a Krug and two red wraps. Clear down unless I see something better with our, my R. Dragon's already down, so. Pathing top here is the best play possible. Put some uh, control, sort some pressure on the Herald area since that's the only real neutral up at the moment. Jace out of position, I can't really save him. Cast can follow up on those type of situations incredibly well. Uh, maybe I could. Why didn't cast chase? Looks like more to art in there. In hindsight, I should have gone. I, I can't believe Jace lived for that long. It's kind of shocking. He's probably mad at me for not coming, but... Eh, it is what it is. I am a complete item too, so I'm pretty strong. We have the Leandres, max health damage, max health damage on our W. We're already at double max health burn. Oh, he's not inside the W. Dang. That is unfortunate. Alright, I guess we should gain bot again with our ghost. Such a low cooldown, might as well. Might as well keep giving them the business. I don't think John has worded up here yet in a while. She's been playing from spawn. Oof, never mind. Dang. Might as well stay though, since we have nothing else to gank. We waited before stepping into bush. Wards generally give vision for one to three seconds after you break them, so. It's good to wait if you're still trying to pull it off. Go ahead and ghost for this. Put on our E. Hit him with the R, Q, W. I missed my W though because I'm a goofball. But it lets MF land a big R. They get the hill so they don't die. Yeah, I can do something here for sure. Yeah. Q, W. Cast flashes out. Not bad. We'll take it. As long as we don't throw our shutdown, we'll be good to go this game. We have a, quite the snowball little lead built up. Minions are passing. We can cross over for the Krugs now. And take those. And kill them on their way back to lane since they're low. Hopefully they didn't ward this bush. They warded this area last time and Draven found me. That was pretty annoying. Okay, cool. It's not worded this time. That's sick. Oh, dang. My W's on a cooldown. QW, they split. They actually split on me there. Can't believe they were expecting that. I assume that's awarded. Got it. She's in trouble. Got her with my blue smite. Yep. I don't think... Oh, he does have R. Shoot. My W's on cooldown as well, so I can't really... Do a whole lot to him when he comes out. Got him with QW. Down he goes. Sick. I'm out of mana. I can get it back fast though. 16 mana per second in jungle. That bush is warded over there. I'm going to run this guy down. He's dead. I have enough mana to just press R on his face. Blue smite him. Let the stun go off. And Senna kind of kill stilled me there. She didn't need to take that. I wish she would break the ward instead of just hitting my stuff. Jace is really stealing my blue buff. That's kind of scuffed, man. One kill, Jace. Oh, that's... Oh, what is he doing? Like, what is this? Uh, I'm not going to dragon. I'll just play for kills if that's how the team's going to play. If that's how it's going to be. All right, let's go for... We'll go for Sorks. Yeah, I don't know about that. He even has a tier. So, probably has presence of mind as well. It's not really going to run out of mana. Morgana W is incredibly expensive. 130 mana. 
That is a lot for non-ultimate ability. Most ultimates only cost 800 mana, so the fact that a non-ultimate ability is costing 130, you clearly know that Riot doesn't want her to be a mid laner. It's the only reason why they would make it that high. Only junglers can sustain. It kind of supports sustain that kind of mana outflow. It's jungle item giving you a constant pump on the majority of the map. Get him, Trindamir! He's zero value out of that black shield. Down she goes. We'll take it. I'm not even going to go for Harold. I don't want it. Don't need it. We're giga strong. They can't fight us at all. None of them. We have so much damage. We took off his passive. He's just going to pick it back up though. Yeah, I don't know about chasing that one down, big boy. Nice, we landed it. Alright, I'll walk him down. Well, maybe not. Yeah, you're dead. W max health burn. Just need Trindomir to shove the wave. They're going to be pinching me here in a second, too. This is dangerous. Got it. All right, let's get out of here. Super, super sketchy. Pop our refills. We should have popped that way, 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 way sooner. Just remember your perfect combo was like R, blue, smite, QW. Basically E, R, QW. You want to make sure they don't CC you and get out of your R tether range for the stun. We'll go for double health max burn this game. Might as well. We don't need Zhonyas. Once the game is in the team fight phase, Zanya's is really good. But uh, we're so far ahead that we don't need it. But if we weren't ahead, since we're kind of team fighty right now, we should definitely go Zanya's if we weren't ahead. But we're so big that uh, if they come at us, one QW, one of them is going to die from it. It's a lot of burn damage. Yeah, just two W's kills a monster camp. A big old red buff. Mord one full item, Mundo one full cast, no complete item. Got him with a QW, put some red buff autos on him while he's there. Get him with the blue smite. QW, down he goes. Didn't even need to use our R, and since we're ranged we can kite him out, nothing he can really do. We still have our ghost as well. Could kill Mundo here, all he has is armor. I don't know where Draven is though, so I don't want to try to all in with Ghost R and then, yeah, exactly, have a Draven pop up. This bush probably isn't worded if you worded it there. I need more space to chase here. Alright, little Ghost. Ah, oh, I wasted my Ghost thing. We missed our Q. I don't know if Trinimir scared them or if they saw me on that ward that early. They reacted really, really fast there. Shockingly quick. My blue buff's coming up. This is Jace loves farming my camps. He's given such high value. Such solid value. Yeah, he's kind of in trouble here. QW, down he goes. This mesh is pumping too. Doing a lot of damage. There it is. Should die from that. Yep. I mean, it's nearly a three second snare holding him inside of my W. There it is. Decent damage. The snare didn't land. I'm out of mana. I gotta go grab blue buff or get in the jungle. We're getting three mana back per second passively. And bada boom in the jungle, 18 mana. Very balanced. <laughs> That's more mana regen than building full mana regen items can even give you in league of legends the jungle item is the best mana regen item in the game hands down 10 times over the strongest mana regen item that's why you can play fiddlesticks and karthus to start on red buff and not be impacted by doing so i'll go for dragon here my art thing is my r and ghost are on cooldown and we already have mid in him so this fight mid doesn't make that much sense 
Luckily, I'm the one with most of the shutdown on our team, so as long as I don't die, it shouldn't matter too much. Plus, as a team, we should be taking this together. Dragon autos do physical damage, but they're coded as spells, so my E won't help me against it. Only camp my E really helps me against is something that's going to hard CC me, or Gromp, since Gromp does magic damage. But you never really use Black Shield against Gromp, so waste. If someone shows up, you'd rather have the Black Shield itself. And that is it. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most dealt in the game. Looking at damage taken, we were very middle of the pack. Looking at self mitigated, very middle of the pack. For runes, super high value. Morgana jungle is an absolute blast. Just take the right runes, take the right build, and run the correct, the correct clear out, and you'll have a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.